Hello, welcome to uh, February 21st, 2023. My name is Kurt, and this is my daily Good Life Meditation video. I think it's the 21st. I'm losing a little bit track. I'm, I'm losing a little, and I just checked. <laughs> and I'm losing a little bit uh, uh, of touch with how many days I'm into this COVID. I thought it was four yesterday. Today's day, the first full day of day four. Of day four. Um, I'm not doing as well today as I was, you know, I'm doing worse than I was yesterday, and went worse than the day before, so day one was bad, day two was good, day three was not good, and day four is starting off not good at all, and today's my first day back at work, I'm uh, super sore throat, uh, dizzy, um, confused, uh, clearly, uh, not quite myself. Ah, haven't had my meds yet. So I'll, I'll finish this, uh, read my Bible, feed the dogs, uh, let the dogs out, of course. I already tried to let them out just now. They didn't want to go. Then I'll take my, have my, I'll make, make a little oatmeal for myself, have my meds, and then um, come back and start the day. I'm doing this all out of order, aren't I? I usually do that last, talk about what I'm going to do. So why don't I just get, get this over with? The main Necessity and point of this exercise is to recite the Good Life Creed, and I'll do that in the lightning round fashion. But first, let's think about yesterday opportunities and challenges. Yeah, the challenge, main challenge yesterday was try to uh, get rest, which I'm not good at resting. I don't, I don't relax well. I'm, I'm always, I'm a motive, I'm a motive person. <coughs> If I were a seabird, <coughs> I'd be an albatross. <laughs> Always on the wing. I, I, I don't, I simply don't rest until I fall asleep. Hey, speaking of which, I slept well last night, uh, all the way to the bell. So it was tough to stay, keep isolated in my little room here and just rest. Yumiko uh, held me, held my, my lunch hostage until I promised I would go back to bed and sleep, which I did. I, was, I kept my word. But she went, eventually went out shopping, and then the, the dogs uh, need to be tended to. Uh, left to their own devices, they'll, they'll they'll sit at the window and bark at people going by. So I came back to my room and kept the dog company. And then I never left again for the rest of the day. But I guess that constitutes resting. Sitting here reading a book all afternoon, that's resting, right? Started a new book. The uh, Letters to a Young Poet by uh, Rainier Maria Rauch. Very good. This guy might be one of the best writers ever. Anyway, I'm totally just filling time and diverting. Um, I feel I feel guilty if I do this too fast, so, but Kurt, it doesn't count to fill time with filler. That's not quality. Get to the point. Get it over with. I don't have to do this in detail if, I, if I'm not up to it or if I, even if I don't want to. <laughs> it's my prerogative, but I do have to do it. So let's do it. My seven objects. It'll be fun to take the core. Funded, my first seven objectives are as follows. To be always ready to die, to make good and effective use of time, to develop and maintain good and sound life principles, to cultivate good emotional reactions, to perform good actions, to recognize true limits and true opportunity, and to, reckon, and to always do just one thing at a time and do nothing slowly and deliberately, <clears throat> carefully. <clears throat> and then my 32 principles. Let's take score. See if I, how, how close I can get to 34. War, reason, homunculus, anchor hold, home of good and evil, purpose, atomic principle, principle of nature, pirate ride, maturity, social principle, principle of family, public speaking, uh, temperance. Life will not go well. The horror show. 
that which must be born. The Feast of Ovo, the seed in the house, distraction, or maybe the seed in the house comes later, but anyway, agency and the great indifference. Yeah, distraction, maybe. And I mean, the seed in the house usually comes now. Okay, good. The restless man. Hmm. Just had a thought. Let that thought go. The path of wildness. The great life adventure. The risk of what he risk. Sin and damnation. Complete oblivion. Script writing. The bullseye aim. The uphill climb. Arena and utility. Fence of uh, the season of philosophy. Uh, that was a little out of order. Public uh, just two more. I can see them right there because I, I got public. I got the season of philosophy out of order. Nothing is enough, and then finally principle of fun. <clears throat> well, what do you know? My mind, my count, that's 34. I almost missed uh, two. Well, I didn't almost miss two. I almost missed one. I almost, I almost missed uh, the season of philosophy, but then I got two of them, two others out of order, which is not a big deal, but it is a big deal in terms of delivery and thought process and couching of the ideas. Okay, as for today, I'll finish this, I'll upload this, I'll go over and read my Bible. I'm finished, I finished. I didn't quite finish, I'm finishing the book of Hosea today with Hosea 14. So yeah, I'm finishing Hosea today. Then I'll um, fire up the computer like ah, all that stuff I said before. <laughs> and then I have a, a, a good solid day of work ahead of me, which I'll... I'll put this thing in low gear. <laughs> Tractor through the day. I'll tell my. I'll give my boss a good heads up. I'm not going to take the day off, but I'm, don't expect don't expect a, a high productivity day out of me. I won't say that. I'll just I'll just advise him that I have COVID, and, and I'll do my best. I always do my best. I'm, I'm incapable of otherwise. <laughs> To a fault. Okay, once I start sounding like I'm bragging, which I didn't mean it that way, then it's time to quit. I'm, I pointed that out not not to, to boast, but to simply, for me, more of an observation that that's one of the reasons why I, uh, my health might be starting to suffer. Is that I'm like a, I can't. I'm incapable of slowing down. It's always been like that since I was a boy. Just, bound. I remember. <clears throat> I remember as a boy. I mean, you, there's this idea of sleeping in and laying and resting and, you know, cozying up to your pillow and snuggling under your sheets in the, on a Sunday morning. I think I, I think I'm pretty common. I mean, what my experience of Sunday mornings were, you know, before the sunrise, I was bounding out of bed, throwing the sheets off, bounding out of bed excited and eager for the day. You know, even if things were rough, even, you know, when my, if my wife, my, my wife, my mother, and my, my uh, father were starting to uh, drift apart, and I could sense that, I still bounded out of the day and was looking forward to the day. And the, the, the trouble was that I didn't find much many venues or outlets, and I just spun circles mostly. <clears throat> Until that uh, fateful day when I discovered Cosmos on PBS. <laughs> yeah, I'm going long. Huh? I should stop. And uh, Carl Sagan uh, sh showed a light in the direction for me. And by the way, I'd already, I'd already gone down the Christian route before then, and rejected that. So I tried different routes, you know. 
So I guess I could say that in my teens I was a searching person. Yeah. And then I found uh, truth to be the, the quest. And I've been on that quest ever since. And what a wonderful quest it's been. Sign it off. Take care. Be safe, but not too safe. And with that, my life is done, if not complete.